Good afternoon, TK friends. Welcome to Math Circle. Yes, this week we're going to look at math and how math is such an important part of our daily life in the house. Um, you know you use math all the time? Yeah, so we're going to look uh, at um, some of the things you do around the house where you're using math and you might not even know it. Also, Miss Boo was thinking, well, a lot of my friends, my TK friends, are five and a half now, or will soon be five and a half. That means you're getting so big and so grown up, and now you are ready to do some of these household chores, things around the house, all by yourself without mommy's and daddy's help or much help. So today, Miss Boo's going to show you my one of my favorite lunches, okay? It's very easy to do. And then after that, I want you to teach me how to make one of your favorite lunches, okay? So when I make, when, when I make my favorite sandwich, which is peanut butter and banana sandwich, Okay, first, do you see that? First, when we use numbers like one, two, three, and we're just counting out objects, we say one, two, three. But if we're showing um, someone how to do something in order, then we can't just say one, we say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, those are called our ordinal numbers okay so today as i am showing you how to make a sandwich i want you to focus on the ordinal numbers that i'm going to use okay so here we go first you are going to need to collect your materials so i have a butter knife and if mommies and daddies are not comfortable with you using a butter knife you can use a plastic knife okay I have a cutting board. I have a plate to put my final lunch sandwich in. I have the materials that I need for my sandwich. I have here extra crunchy, super crunch Skippy. I love crunchy peanut butter. And I have a banana. And I have sandwiches and um, sandwich bread. Luckily, there's only one left, but that's all we need, okay? And I like to have a rack just in case I need to clean my hands. So that's first. So second, take your sandwich, okay? And go ahead and open it up. Well, you would need two slices, but Miss Boo's sandwiches come in a pair like this. It's like a bun. It's very thin, okay? So... Go ahead and open it up so you have one slice and the other slice right there. Then your second, that's second, this is third. Third, you're going to open the lid to your peanut butter. Fourth, take the butter knife and go into the jar of peanut butter and scoop out a good helping of peanut butter, okay? Next, which is fifth, you're going to spread the peanut butter onto your slice of bread. Now, you can do peanut butter on one slice of bread, or you can do peanut butter on both slices of bread. I kind of like to have it on both slices of bread so that it'll help I stick to my banana better. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put some, spread some peanut butter on this slice of bread. Okay. How about let's get some more from over here. There we go. All right. All right. After this, you see how I'm using my prepositions also? So once I'm done with 
spreading my peanut butter on my slices of bread. I'm going to go get my banana and then I am going to open up my banana. I like to split my banana in the middle. I know people think that's kind of silly, but I like to do it that way. Okay. And then I'm going to just kind of cut off the part that's bruised and I can use my cutting board here to slice my banana up. Next, I am going to lay my banana slices nicely onto my slice of peanut buttered bread. And I'm going to slice this next part. Let's see. That's pretty good. Let's slice that. Mm. Okay. And fill that up. I'll go over here because I'm running out of room over here. All right. There we go. Okay. Which slice of bread has more banana? This one, right? So this one has fewer banana slices. How many banana slices do you see here? Three. How many do you see over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot, a lot more than over here, huh? How many more is that? Well, if I have three here, that means if I have three over here, they would be the same, right? So if I covered up this three and I covered up this three, because they're the same, how many do I have left? One, two, three, four. So this side has four more slices than this side. All right. So now last of all, or almost last, I'm going to smush them together Whoop! and I actually do like to smush it like this, smush it down and my peanut butter banana bread is ready to eat. Isn't that delicious? Mmm. That is very delicious. So now, it's your turn. I want you to make a video and show me how you make your favorite type of bread. I want you to, I want you to use ordinals, like first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And I also want you to use prepositions. Next, on top of, beside, then, okay? I can't wait to see what your favorite lunch is. Bye.